Hello, my name is Dr. Sanket Pisat. I am a consultant gynecological minimal access surgeon practicing in Mumbai, India. The initial two and a half minutes of this video contains information about the normal anatomy and functioning of the female reproductive tract which has the uterus which is a muscular organ in the center where the baby actually grows and a pair of tubes and ovaries on each side of the uterus. So there, is, there are two fallopian tubes and two ovaries and one uterus forming the female genital tract along with the cervix and the vagina. The interior of the uterine cavity is also known as the endometrium. It is here that the normal pregnancy grows the two fallopian tubes open out to the interior of the uterine cavity through openings which is known as the tubal ostium. The sperm enters through the vagina which is shown by the green arrow and the ovum or the egg is released by the ovary which is marked in blue. The ovum then travels through the fallopian tube finding its way to the tubal ostium. Here somewhere close to the tubal ostium the ovum and the sperm meet each other and a pregnancy starts forming. Once the pregnancy starts forming in this area, the pregnancy then drops itself down into the endometrial cavity or within the uterus and there as shown by the golden symbol is the embryo which starts forming. This is the normal view of the inside of the uterus which is a spacious cavity and has the right tubal opening which is seen from inside the uterus and exactly a mirror image of this same thing is the left tubal opening which is seen from inside the uterus. So this is what the normal uterus looks like which is a hollow muscular organ. On the outside you can see the uterus, LO the left ovary, right ovary, the left tubal opening and the right tubal opening. In a normal case, when dye is pushed through the vagina, blue color escapes from the cervix and comes out from each side of the fallopian tube to enter the abdomen indicating that both the tubes are freely open. Sometimes these fallopian tubes may get blocked, meaning that there is no spill of dye from one or both of the tubes and the patient cannot get pregnant. The treatment for this is passing a cannula through the tubal opening much like a stent is passed through a blocked artery in the heart and then a dye is forcibly pushed under pressure through this opening. In most of the cases, the opening can be removed simply by pushing of the dye which dislodges the blockage which was present inside the tube and after this dye has been pushed using this type of catheter, one can see that there is a good spill seen from the tube which was earlier blocked. So now this patient can attempt a natural pregnancy without the need for going for IVF treatment. Please subscribe by clicking on the icon to keep receiving updates. Thank you.